Hello, my name is Luisa Conti and here I will briefly explain the main findings of our paper regarding the relationship between functional trait differences, trait plasticity and biotic resistance to potential plant invaders. With globalization increasing the introduction of ornamental plant species into new areas and global change facilitating the naturalization of some of these species, non-native ornamentals have become the largest and most diverse pool of potential new invaders. One key natural barrier for these species to become invasive is biotic resistance from native communities. However, the underlying mechanisms that drive such resistance are still unresolved. The ability of native communities to repel potential invaders has often been attributed to negative biotic interactions deriving from resource competition. Nevertheless, certain non-native species might be able to overcome this biotic filter because they possess functional traits that allow them to cope with competition more efficiently. On the one hand, we have the so-called symmetric niche-based competition where functional or niche dissimilarity to the native community may allow non-native species to limit resource competition with the natives. As a result, a non-native with functional traits that differ from those of the native community might be able to avoid competition. On the other hand, we have hierarchical competition. For those functional traits related to competitive ability, the competitive outcomes between non-native species and the native community will depend on their respective positions on competitive ability hierarchies. If the non-native has a more competitive trait than those of the native community, then it might be able to overcome competition. However, the mode and importance of these competitive interactions in regulating invasions critically depend on environmental conditions and might change for different vital rates such as survival, growth, and reproduction. Finally, trait plasticity might also influence competitive interactions. Although trait plasticity is often thought to be a key element in biological invasions, most community invasion studies still use average species-level trait values, or fundamental trait values, to assess functional similarity and hierarchies. Nevertheless, changes in trait expression induced by competition which lead to what we call the realized trade values, can also affect competitive outcomes and ultimately invasion dynamics. In some cases, plasticity induced by competition from the natives might enhance invasion success of non-native ornamental species by allowing them to overcome biotic resistance. In other cases, plastic trade shifts might not lead to stronger competitiveness or might even reinforce resistance of the native community. For example, a passive trade shift of the invader caused by limited availability of resources can result in greater fitness differences with the natives. Whether and how invaders plastically respond to competition is likely to depend both on their position on the competitive hierarchy and on the overall strength of biotic resistance. Here we tested through a large mesocosm experiment and trait analysis when and how biotic resistance can prevent invasion of European ornamental non-native plants. We specifically addressed three main questions. First, how are functional dissimilarity and position on trait hierarchies of non-native ornamentals related to biotic resistance of the native community? Second, how do these relationships change under drought stress and across vital rates? And third, does competition influence trade expression of non-native ornamentals and do these plastic trade shifts moderate their ability to overcome biotic resistance? We used 25 non-native ornamental species invading a native Central European grassland community. To quantify biotic resistance, for each non-native ornamental species we grew 24 individuals. 12 replicates were grown with a native community and 12 replicates were grown individually, without the community. We randomly assigned half of the pots to one of two watering treatments. A regular watering treatment where the plants were well watered and did not experience any drought stress. And a reduced watering treatment where the plants received only 50% of that amount of water, experiencing therefore drought stress. We quantified three vital rates or performance measures of the ornamental individual 
survival as the days of survival, growth as the above ground dried biomass, and reproduction as in number of flowers. Resistance to a potential invader is defined as the native community's competitive effect on the performance of the invader species. Here we quantified the strength of biotic resistance to each ornamental across vital rates. We calculated the percentage reduction in success of the non-native individual in the community pots compared to the average success of the individuals of the same species in the same treatment growing alone. We searched for a relationship between the variation in biotic resistance towards different ornamentals and the variation in their functional traits. Specifically, we measure three traits that are considered to represent key axes of plant ecological strategies. Plant height is associated with competitive strength for light interception. Specific leaf area, or SLA, is positively correlated with relative growth rate and reflects species differences in resource use strategies for both water and nitrogen. While higher SLA values indicate investment in growth and rapid resource acquisition, lower SLA values indicate investment in leaf storage tissues and more conservative resource use. Finally, in the context of our experiment, seed mass is mostly related to growth rate at the juvenile stage, as small seeds tend to produce rapidly growing seedlings, and also to seedling tolerance to harsh conditions, as seedlings from larger seeds are more likely to survive under harsh conditions. Together, these traits inform about the species' overlap in resource use strategy and about the relative competitive ability in terms of competitive responses. For computing functional differences between ornamentals and natives, we generally use the specific trait value measured on the individuals in each community pot, or realized trait value, which accounts for plasticity. We quantified functional differences between the ornamental and the community by measuring two metrics that represent the two different types of competition. We quantify the combined functional dissimilarity across all three traits measured, which captures the individual's overlap in the use of resources. High values indicate a higher functional dissimilarity of the non-native compared to the natives, while lower values indicate a similarity between the non-native and the native community. We also quantified for each trait independently the position of the ornamental on trait hierarchies. We assume that the position in the trait hierarchy quantifies the competitive ability difference between individuals relative to that specific trait. For each specific trait, a positive value indicates that the non-native has a higher value compared to the native community, while a negative value indicates that the non-native has a lower value compared to the native community. We modeled biotic resistance changes for all three vital rates in relation to trait differences through mixed effect models. Biotic resistance dependent on both the functional difference metrics and on the vital rate analyzed. Here I will highlight only certain results. For example, regarding the survival of the non-natives, functionally distinct ornamentals underwent less mortality due to biotic resistance, which is evidence of the role of nature differentiation in filtering successful ornamental species, especially in the establishment stage. However, metrics based on trait hierarchies provided consistent results across most vital rates, for example in both survival and growth. Taller ornamental individuals were predictably better at tolerating biotic resistance and were thus more successful in surviving and growing in communities. Biotic resistance was also dependent on watering conditions. Even though drought lowered the resistance to the ornamental's growth, its effect on biotic resistance was not always straightforward. For example, the competitive advantage of being taller for ornamental survival was actually stronger under drought. Looking into SLA, we found that ornamental individuals with lower values, which are more conservative in their use of resources, could generally better endure competition from the natives, growing more than other individuals do. Finally, we also quantified the effect of the native community on the trait values of the ornamentals by calculating their trait shifts. Operationally, we calculated the proportional change between the trait values of the non-native ornamental individuals growing with the native community 
and the average trait values of the ornamentals of the same species in the same treatment growing alone. A positive trait shift means that the presence of the native community increases the ornamental's trait value, while a negative trait shift means the opposite. We analyze the response of trait shifts to biotic resistance on growth and the ornamental's functional distance to the native community, calculated over fundamental trait values. Individuals exposed to stronger biotic resistance from the native community became predictably shorter, which further weakened their ability to compete for light and water uptake. Ornamental individuals growing in a competitive environment also shift in their SLAs, potentially to cope with a more shaded environment. What's more interesting is that ornamentals with fundamentally lower or similar values of SLA compared to the natives shifted even to lower SLA values when grown in the community, while individuals with fundamentally higher values of SLA produce even broader and thinner leaves. High biotic resistance caused a higher trait shift towards higher SLA values on the ornamental. Therefore, because biotic resistance mostly affected the performance of individuals with high SLA values, ornamentals that invested in fast growth rate and resource acquisition were not efficient and became even worse competitors because of passive trade shifts, whereas more efficient species were additionally favored because of competition-induced trade plasticity. In conclusion, we found that community resistance to potential ornamental invasions is shaped by both niche-based and hierarchical competition mechanisms. However, metrics based on trait hierarchies provided consistent results across most vital rates, suggesting a strong role for hierarchical competition in biotic resistance. Overall, non-native ornamentals that are taller and have a more conservative resource acquisition strategy, but that are also functionally distinct to a certain degree, are generally better at coping with biotic resistance in Central European grassland communities and are therefore more likely to invade these communities. However, these trait-mediated biotic resistance mechanisms can change under drought stress and across vital rates. The overall strength of biotic resistance depended on drought stress. In agreement with the stress gradient hypothesis, competition from the community was weaker in stressful conditions although only in terms of competitive suppression of the ornamental's growth. Watering conditions also influence the mode of biotic resistance. For example, the competitive advantage of being taller for ornamental survival was stronger under drought, potentially because biotic resistance was a stronger filter for the survival of ornamentals in this treatment. The mode of biotic resistance also depended on the vital rate. Our results indicate that niche differences should facilitate the survival of invaders, but not their dominance in the community. Conversely, trait differences that increase the invaders' fitness in comparison to the natives should drive both establishment and competitive dominance, and thus should lead also to higher total biomass of invaders in communities. Finally, our results suggest that trait plasticity of ornamental individuals determines a positive feedback of the competitive mechanisms in the invaded native community. We observed shifts in the height and SLA of ornamental individuals, although not necessarily towards a more competitive trait value. Our results actually suggest that plasticity is likely to influence native communities' ability to repel potential invaders. And most importantly, it might reinforce the ability of the most competitive ornamentals to overcome biotic resistance. Thank you for listening.